Jan Rogers Niffen is with us, CEO J. Rogers Niffen WWE joining me now. Um, you told me you've been out, I forget, on how many Black Fridays and how is this one faring? I think this was my 59th actually when we had that discussion, just to put it. I didn't make the first one, okay. but I think I made the last 59. <laughs> so tell me, I mean, I saw 130 million plus are shopping, clothes and phones are what they want, Walmart and Target are some of the searches. How do you find it all? Do you find it to be good news here generally? It's interesting. I spent all last weekend, started on Friday, went out Friday, Saturday and Sunday looking at stores the whole time and a little bit on Monday. And then I've been out today. So what do I really think is happening? I think we're having a pretty good start to the holiday. But remember, we've got 31 days from now till Christmas. That's almost the longest calendar you can get. 26 is the shortest, 32 is the longest. So the customer's got a long time to take a pause now and then come back for those last 10 days. Because yes, today will be the largest traffic day, but the biggest selling days will still come just in front of Christmas. And we are not going to know how good or bad this holiday season is until we see those 10 days. This will not tell us that today. But I believe today is running pretty well. I think Wednesday was a good day. We know yesterday was pretty good online. It was okay online. And I think we'll see this because right now the customer is really into what I'll call appointment shopping. If you tell them there's an event, they want to show up. They were great on Halloween, up about 19%. I think they'll be strong today relative to what we see the rest of the season. But I still think the season could be better than people think, maybe three and a half or four percent instead of two and a half to three percent. I'm pretty optimistic. So, yeah, because there's different, um, obviously, forecasts on how much people will, in fact, shop. And you're um, leaning towards the higher end of that, which is interesting. And, you know, today is where the Black Friday sales begin, technically. But are we going to still see sales throughout the whole, or should we shop today? This is what I'm really getting at. Should we shop today? Because really, I know the department stores will have um, a lot of sales, but will there be sales between now and Christmas, or is today really the day? Well, since I think Black Friday started about October 10th, seriously, and since I think we're going to see relatively strong sales today, and I know we have light inventories, I'm not sure how much better the pricing is going to get until we get closer to the end. And the things that people really want may be gone because we just have an inventory that heavily this year because the retailers are too afraid of what the consumer might do. On the other hand, the consumer sort of has said, I'm going to go shop. They certainly did for Halloween. I think they are going to this weekend. So we may be getting a little tighter on, on the things you really want. It may not be your size, it may not be your color, it may not be there at a better price. So I don't think we're gonna see deep discounting. We're, we're back to 2019. We're in the normal discounting phase. Yeah. I wanted to talk about some of the names. Um, I actually heard you recently talking about Boot Barn and Tractor Supply. I know everybody likes going to Nashville for fun these days. What is that about? I think Western Wear is going to be big again this year. It was last year. So I think Boot Barn's going to do well because they kind of own that space and they're good at it. Tractor Supply has done well because the gentlemen farmers all moved to the burbs during COVID and they stayed there. And they're using Tractor Supply. And Tractor Supply has ramped up its business in apparel like Carhartt goods, things like that, denim. And, and that's going to be popular too. Outdoor gear is going to be popular. So Dix is going to do well too with that because – we thought sporting goods might be a little tough, but the apparel side of sporting goods, the outdoor gear stuff, is selling well, and it's going to sell well right through Christmas. So I don't think people are really expecting that either. So if you're looking for things that, that'll do well that maybe people don't understand how well they'll do, I think Boot Barn and Tractor Supply are two. I also think Walmart and Costco, who are executing better than anybody, are two. I actually think Macy's and Kohl's, even though they're not great, are doing better than people expect because they've fixed problems in their businesses. So it's, it's an interesting Christmas. And people that have new stuff, like I'm a big fan of Ralph Lauren right now because I think they fixed their business and they have newness in the system. And so I think they're going to do better than people expect, even if things are just OK, right, because everybody spent all their money on plane trips and cruises. I still think we're going to have an OK Christmas selling season. And some of those I just named, I think are just going to do better than other people expect.
Yeah, understood. Um, our clothes and um, some of the other things back for what people will be buying. I saw Barbie's hot, um, you know. We always know Hot Wheels is hard, hot, Marvell, but um, and holiday decor. But I did see some technology and um, console games and um, phones and computers. That all of these things may be, you know, good to go and good news for this group. Well, I think the hottest thing is going to be the iPhone. But I really do think we're going to see real strength in health, beauty, wellness which is Ulta and things like that, because I think cosmetics is gonna be the hottest thing for my side of the business going through the holiday. So in general, apparel's only gonna be okay, but people with the new additions to their line like Ralph has, they're gonna do well. And then apparel's just going to be okay as a group, but I think outdoor wear, which means if you're probably LL Bean, it's a good thing. But certainly if you're Dick's Sporting Goods, it's a good thing. I think that's gonna be hot as well. So you have to be kind of selective in what you're looking at is, we're just gonna have an okay selling Christmas, but we'll have some very good things out there. Yeah, um, and you know, I know you always like Nike and Lulu. People are just brand loyal, the more affluent shopper. Um, you had Levi's in there too. But I am curious about this Vista Outdoors. There's been an unsolicited offer, the proposal. Uh, you have Colt CZ Group, um, and now others I think are stepping in. I don't know too much about the story, but I know they have ammunition and things like that. I don't know if that goes into outdoor sports or just more and more people owning guns and protection. Any thoughts on Vista Outdoors, which right now is up 3.3% VSTO? I don't follow them, but I do know that guns and ammo has been a hot part of the business for outdoor and Academy Sports sells that. And so I do follow Academy and I know that's part of the business that's really moving. So I'm not surprised with the Vista thing, but I don't follow that company. Yeah, and golf is back. I know you were talking about Dick's um, golf. Golf is back. Another hot area. Yeah, yeah. Jan Rogers Niffin, J Rogers Niffin, WWE. Always wonderful to see you. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. Thank you.